on. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Okay, so first things first, guys. I'm excited about this one. I don't know if I've posted this up on Instagram or anything, or I post anything at all, but you guys probably can't notice it, but I got a new green screen. Shout out to Elegato for providing me with the Elegato green screen. There is no folds. There's no none of that. You know, none of that stuff that I am not like. I don't have any time to do to straighten it out or anything. You know, like an iron or anything. I got myself a green screen, and then the lighting here is pretty cool. So uh, yeah, <laughs> let's go right ahead and have some fun right here, guys. So in our last episode, we finally reached the next town, which I, don't, I can't remember the name of the town. Yes, Eterna City. And today's episode is going to be a fun one right here because. Uh, if you guys can't tell, we're going to go in here. And in here is this. Talk to this old man right here. He's like, I'm the first one to have started digging out in the Grand Underground. I am. You can call me the Underground Man. Everyone else does. I'll, I'll make a gift of this uh, to you. You hold your end of the deal and put this to good to use. And here we have ourselves the Explorer Kit. So, this Explorer Kit right here you can use on your key items to go visit the Grand Underground. Now in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, they did change a lot in the underground path and whatnot. This is more of like, I guess, what was that What was that place called in Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield? Can't remember. But anywho, Underground Man's like, let me mentor you as you get a full, or you become a full-fledged Belunker. Just follow my lead. Oh, wow, he's following his lead. This is, uh, this is a pretty big one. First, go to the Grand Underground. Growing uh, underground is quite easy. Simply use the Explorer Kit. It can't be used indoors or in a cave. Now, give it a try. And okay, I'm not even pressing anything. He's doing it from. He's doing it for me. What? what oh. <laughs> See, not doing anything. Oh my God! And here we are. And as you guys can see, the very first gym leader that we've ever faced here in Sinnoh, Rourke. He's like, Hey, Draven. This is your first time here. Welcome to Sinnoh's Grand Underground. This is the network of tunnels, caves, and caverns lying beneath Sinnoh. Huh? What am I doing in a, down in, a, in this expanse of a place? That's kind of a hard answer, or just kind of hard to answer. I mean, you can do pretty much anything you want down here. For instance, you can dig up fossils and, uh, and treasure, or you can make your own secret base. You should talk to the underground man in Eternity to learn more. Why is the way to go back up to the surface? Remember, why? Hmm. I have to get going now. I'll see you around. And, well, he is going around. He's leaving. So, as you guys can see, onto your left side of the screen, you're going to be getting the underground path, uh, what was it called? Uh, the map. And if you press the R button, the R toggle button, you're going to be seeing the vast network of this place. It's like, there are so many places you can visit, so many rare Pokemon that you can find. Um... What I'm going to do right here is I'm just going to show you guys maybe one or two places that you, you can actually find. Um, you can do this online too, and from there, bam, you can, uh, you know, you're know going to have some fun. So as you guys can see, we are in the Fountain Spring Cave, and right here you're going to be able to find yourself some pretty neat Pokemon. Here's a, well, here's a Swablu. We got uh, that guy right there, can't remember his name. And if they notice you, holy crud, they try and chase you around. Now, you, you come in and out, you're going to be able to find yourself some different Pokemon, some rare Pokemon. So I would suggest looking around as hard as you can, and, well, believe it or not, these Pokemon right here are pretty rare. I think that's the evolved form of, uh, well, of the other regional Pokemon, so I'm going to just go right here, and I'm going to try it out again. So let's go one more time, and here we are, Fountain Spring Cave, and that is Bidoof. I almost ran into that. Holy buckets. Okay, so the heck is going on right here this thing's going in and out of my oh yeah and thankfully this pokemon is like slow as hell and yeah we don't want to get attacked by any of these pokemon so you know what let's go ahead and move into another area and well let's see move it around now if you guys see on your screen you will be able to find yourself some like yellow dots that usually means that that's hidden treasure and i am currently going back in here for no apparent reason and why are you why are you going slow? I don't know. So we're just using the toggle button. Don't want to mess with these guys. Oh my god. Almost got attacked by a slug right there. Or a snail. 
Okay, so let's go straight to the yellow... Let's go straight to the yellow dot right here. Now, yellow dots are usually... Let's see. Um, kind of button. Let's see, that's Y. Uh, the exploring kit. How about we press this? Oh, yeah, there we go. If you press the top button right here, you're going to be able to find those little shining things. And if you click onto it, yes, we're going to dig into it. Now, here's something funny about it is... Oh, there's a, there is a note tucked inside the explorer kit. Digging for fossils. I've put a sledgehammer and a pickaxe in your explorer kit. Use them and you'll be able to dig out all sorts of stuff on the walls. Before the walls come tumbling down, that is. I'm sure you can do it. Good luck, young sir. And something ping. And there are three things in this place, okay? Now, you can press the R button to switch around different kinds of tools. The pickaxe will get minimal damage while the sledgehammer is going to mess the whole thing around. If you guys can take a look at the top of the screen right there, it all depends on how, or, you know, it all depends on what you got. So, as you guys can see, I am, uh, I am finding a treasure. There is one right there. I'm gonna take a risk, and I'm gonna go straight for the sledgehammer going onto these bricks right here, and this will take most of the, da the damage, so there we go. We're finding something. And... There we go, and you know what? Sledgehammer does not... It does not kill just a little bit, so there we go, and... There's two. And the third one is usually right around the top. And... Nope, not right there. There we go, that's a stone right there. If you see red... If you see gray, guys, that's usually a... A regular rock. Which is... Pretty hilarious right there, and it looks like to me we're not finding anything. We're gonna have to take a risk. And there's nothing. Okay, so might be on the corners. And if you guys could take a look at the top, we are reaching the end right here. It looks like we're not gonna be finding more than just or we're not gonna be finding anything else anytime soon. So let's see. You can go to this top corner. And no, we're not finding anything. Yeah, sometimes things can be super small and you won't be able to find, but once the crack reaches towards the very end of the left side screen, you will be able to find yourself some stuff. So we got a green sphere S and a blue sphere L, which is pretty cool. And well, that is that. So let's go ahead and visit another area right here. There are multiple areas you can capture multiple Pokemon, and funny enough, these Pokemon right here are a lot stronger, meaning that you can train here anytime you want. Uh, as you guys can see, there is a Murkrow that you know I have my eye on, so let's go right ahead and battle this guy right now. And, well, look at this, Murkrow, looking all mean and everything and Halloween and all. Let's go, Electrostar. And, man... Okay, so we're intimidating this Pokemon. It is kind of physical, to be quite honest. And, uh, well, it is at level 20. Let's see if this Spark Attack does some do some damage. And Murkrow definitely messing with us right now. So, here we go, Spark Attack. And that right there is super effective. Paralyzes it, so let's go ahead and capture this Pokemon. I don't know if I have a nickname for it. I didn't really think of, like, trying to, like, capture one. So we have a Heal Ball, so... It will actually help us out right here. So here we go, heal ball. We'll go for the win. I'm about to throw a peace sign. And see, see what happens. See what happens when you get a little too cocky. So here comes Murkrow yet again with another gust attack. And yes, me playing with my microphone is pretty fun right here. Alright. And uh, oh yeah, funny enough too. Yeah, these Pokemon are a little difficult to capture, as you guys can see. This guy is not gonna get he's not gonna go down uh, quietly. Okay, Murkrow. I don't like you, you don't like me, but I'm gonna use another heal ball because I'm trying to capture you, you a-hole! Come on! Get in that ball, one. Yeah, this Pokemon is just... Oh, it's got Drill Pack, so this is gonna be... This is a Pokemon that I probably want because it has Drill Pack, holy buckets. Okay, come on. Stay in the ball, don't be lame. How are you, why are you being lame? Okay, Murkrow, you are being crazy right now, and a regular Pokeball is not going to work. It's not. So, let's go ahead and use the Pokeball. And 
Come on, stay in the ball. Why are you being lame? Oh, uh, here comes a wing attack. This Pokemon I definitely want, and yeah, it's beating the crud out of my uh, my Electro Star. Yeah, I'm just, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. There we go, okay. You know what, screw it, we're gonna defeat him. You're paralyzed, you a-hole Pokemon. Time to feel the wrath of Electro Star. Here we go, spark attack for the win. Yeah, buddy, eat it. And just like that, Murkrow has been defeated. That's what you get. And we get some points right here. Now, again, this place is very, very good for leveling up your Pokemon. And as you guys can see, wow, my Pokemon are learning things. And there, there, there is a chance that I might stay down here for just a little bit to, to go get some newer Pokemon and all that stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch out Electrostar because, yeah, this Pokemon is not going to be... It's not going to be there for a very long time uh, battling these Pokemon. But as you guys can see, we find ourselves Badoos, Machops, uh, some pretty cool Pokemon. And keep your eyes peeled around the areas too, guys, because you could be able to find uh, some, uh, what was it, some items that you might need. Krikatot is another Pokemon that, well, it's not that great. So let's go ahead and move out. And uh, let's go ahead and try another place. There is a bigger area right here, so I'm going to go... Well, is it a bigger area? I don't know. Let's go right here. And find ourselves another, another uh, you know, place. And as you guys can see, there is a Scyther. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, so uh, you, you guys can tell, like, there are Pokemon here. Ah! Okay. Uh, I'm trying to get the... Ah! Scyther, protect me. Now, there, there is probably a chance we're not going to be able to capture this Pokemon, but here is a Scyther. A goddamn Scyther. Okay? And Monfertomon is about to just, you know, throw hands right here. So let's go straight for a Flame Wheel attack. We need that. We need a False Swipe attack. So here we go. Flame Wheel. And yes, it is super effective. I'm just going to be battling people with Pokemon, guys. Because, yeah, these Pokemon are pretty strong, and uh, you can you can indeed get yourself some extra points right there. Look at that. Okay, so I'm going to press Y. I'm going to go up because, yes, I'm going to go up. So we will be back. We will, well, in my private time, we're going to just go back and take care of everything. Now, here is the old man. He's like, aha, I see that you've gone underground. Well done. Take these as a reward. And here we get ourselves Red, Red Spheres S. Don't know anything in blue sphere, blue sphere, green sphere. There is apparently some Pokemon in the Grand Underground that you can't normally find around here. Meeting a new Pokemon is a hundred times more fun when it's a rare one. This is true. Your road to being a Spelunker has barely begun. If you want to know more, come visit me. Which is true. So what I'm going to do right now, guys, is I'm going to heal up the Pokemon, and we're going to continue exploring Jubilife City or wherever the, you know, wherever the heck we are. So I'll be right back with you guys. Man, I love this green screen. I really do. Yeah, it's perfection. Uh, shout out to Elegato. Thank you. Anywho, here we are back, guys. And, well, it is time for us to explore more of, uh, well, Jubilife, Eterna City, or whatever the heck this place is. As you guys can see, once we walk up here, mm, 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 chibi form of Cynthia. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, is that that Pokedex? You must be helping Professor Owen. What's your name? Okay, hello, Draven. I'll be sure to remember that name. My name is Cynthia. I'm a trainer just like you. I've been studying Pokemon mythology lately, just out of curiosity. Here in Eterna City, there is a statue of an ancient Pokemon. According to the myth, it was extremely powerful Pokemon. Who knows? You may encounter something like that, uh, some, something like it, while you're traveling with your Pokedex. Hmm. Try using these. They will help you out on your way. And here we get ourselves a TM-93s, which I have no idea of what they are. Okay, what are they? And it, oh yeah, she's giving us cut too. Thank you, thank you. You see, you see, she's awesome. I think TM-93 is, uh, what was it called? Uh, it's cut. But we will, we are only allowed to use cut until we defeat this gym leader. And uh, well, Cynthia's going to be like, it will let you uh, go to places that you previously uh, that are previously inaccessible to you. That's important for filling up your Pokedex, right? Then look with you, young trainer. Okay, that's pretty awesome right there. Man, Chibi form Cynthia, she's pretty uh, she's pretty cool. Anywho, let's move on right here. Now we can't go through this without you know a gym badge. 
Uh, so what I'm gonna try and do is I'm just gonna go through every house and just, you know, see if they give us some free stuff. Um, if you come in here, this lady will be selling you some herbs. Unfortunately, I am not gonna buy herbs right now because, yes, they are healing items, but they are bitter, and unfortunately, they will have your Pokemon like you less, so it's probably something. Now, if you guys can see right here, this is the Pokemon that she was talking about. This is Dialga, and there's uh, some writing on this Pokemon statue. Dialga, once created, brought time into being in laughter or in tears, the same time flows. Such a blessing is Dia. Okay, the text is barely legible, and it has faded completely and paceless. Hmm. That's, that that kind of sucks right there. So let's go ahead and talk to this person. And they say this Pokemon, uh, they say that this is a Pokemon that lived long ago. That is true. If they lived long ago, then I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. But let's go ahead and talk to this guy. And he's going to be like, hey, you there, a kid. Stay, stay away from that Pokemon statue. Team Galactic is conducting an official investigation here. Okay. Pretty cool of him to let me know something that well, I really don't care about. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. He's like, Eternity City came to the to be long ago in honor of the ancient Pokemon. Though many things have changed, what is important has not, I hope, remains uh, the way forevermore. He speaks in uh, poet, in poetic justice and stuff. Have you seen the Pokemon statue? When I see uh, Wee Child, it used to be a centerpiece of many festivals. Okay, so. I guess this Pokemon is uh, pretty big in uh, most spots right here. So let's go right ahead and continue on our adventure. Uh, as you guys can see, we're going to be going into another route, Route 211. Here you can, here you're, you're going to be able to find some pretty good po po Pokemon and all that stuff. But yeah, like Ponyta. Ponyta is a pretty cool Pokemon, but it's not the best. Definitely not the best. This is the reason why Monfernomon has been chosen because Ponyta can't do the job. It can't. So, we're going to be moving on and see what we can find right here. Usually spots like this hold a secret item right here. And there we go. We found ourselves a Pokeball, which is always nice. And we're going to continue. And there will be somebody waiting for us. So, what's going to happen is... You know what? Monfernamon's the only one that can do it. I, I could trust our good old buddy, what's his face? But it's not gonna happen, and well, he's gonna be like, see how Mount Cornet towers above us? I want to be big like that one day. Big or strong, I, I couldn't tell you. So here we are taking on Hiker Lewis, and he has two Pokemon. We're gonna be going up against a Geodude, and look at this, this Pokemon looks pretty mean, looks pretty strong and all that crud. And Monfernamon ready to throw hands, let's go with a Mach Punch. And the Mach Punch almost defeats Geodude right here. And here comes its Rock Ball. It's trying to be super speedy and all that crud. So, let's go. Let's get it. And go with a Mach Punch yet again. Bam! Geodude defeated. Oh, yes. This is awesome right here. Okay, alrighty. And, well, look at that. We get Starblade at level 20. And here comes an Onyx. So, we're just going to continue on right here, guys. Alright, Onyx. What's up? How's it going? You know what? Let's go with a workup. Let's power up just a little bit. Let's go. KO Ken. Oh, yes. The KO Ken attack right here. Ready to go. Times 10. And what are you going to do? Here comes a Leonith the Smack It Down. It's alright. So, let's go with the Mock Punch right here. Mock Punch. Nearly for the win. And. Oh my god, this Onyx is laying it the smack it down on us again. So, let's go straight for another Mach Punch. And just like that, Onyx defeated. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty. Okay. Alright, and there we go. Monfernomon grows to level 22. And Hacker Lewis is not happy at all. Definitely not happy. So, let's go right ahead and uh, move on to the next thing. Now, I think we do have... I think we do have, what's it called, Rock Smash. Yes, we do. Okay, so as you guys can see, we do have, what was it, Cut as an option, but we have to win the badge in order to use it right here. So, yeah, we're going to have to take this away. we we'll actually hold on to that button. And there is a Bird Trainer right there, so let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. And so far, Hydra, Ultra Psycho, and everybody else, they're comfy with you know the level that we got right here. So, here we go. What's up? 
Look at these beautiful wings. You mean your hair? Probably your hair. It's probably her hair. Okay, so we're taking on Bird Keeper Alexandra. And... Hmm. <coughs> coming out with a hoo-hoo. Wow, cough is coming back. I've gone, like... I've gone, like, several days without the coffin. Wow. And, well, let's go with an Intimidate right here for our Pokemon. And just like this, Spark Attack for the win. Okay. And Hoo Hoo has been defeated. Yeah, definitely not a, a good way to, to, do, to get defeated. And, well, more levels. Alexandra, not happy about this. I wonder what that what that is on her left side or on her right side not on her left side but I think you can find yourself an item right here and here we found ourselves the TM12 taunt and in this game yes there's heavy emphasis on being strategic and all that right so yeah we're gonna move on and let's see let's see what we can find in here so here's one part of Mount Coronet what you'll be able to find is a stone <coughs> Popping yet again. Actually, I need to drink some water, so or not water, but yeah, whatever. Anywho, um, yes, we can. There, there's some stones right here. We won't be able to move them just yet because we need the strength technique. And uh, I could say there's an item. Yeah, there's an item right there. Look at that. We found it. Okay, so that is that. And grab this. Nope, there's nothing. And okay, so we found ourselves a revive, which is going to be useful when we when we go up against uh, the. Well, the second gym leader right here. So, let's get attacked by so many Pokemon right here. Here we have our Lord and Savior, Bidoof. Oh, yes. Bidoof is about to get smashed. Get smashed by Electrostar. Not really, but it's going to do something. And it's... Well, it's... Wow. Okay, so how in the heck did we harshly... I don't even know. Okay, so, let us move on. Let's see... Turn a city now. There are quite a few other things that we need to do, and I'm just like trying to move along right here. So we've got to the northern side. I can't go in there yet. So let's go here. There is a bike shop that we can go to, and I think we can grab a bike just right now. Well, that's not the door, that's a window. Holy crud. How embarrassing is that? Okay, so here we are. Bike shop, and if you talk to this individual right here, He's gonna be like, the manager's gone off to the Team Galactic building and hasn't returned. I wonder what's holding him up. Gee, I don't know, probably Team Galactic something. I, I, I could, I could, uh, you know, it, it could be that. Uh, this right here is the Eterna Condominiums. The name rating services is right here. So if you guys are looking for the name rater, kind of messed up on a nickname, this is the place to go. And he is sitting right towards that area. Now, there might be another er uh, another individual here that gives us an item. And he's like, hi, I'm the building super superintendent. I maintain the vigilant 24-hour watch. Man, you need, to, you, need your, you need your sleep. Okay, so if you talk to this person right here. Excuse me, but you uh, got a Pokemon named Weasel. I want to trade it for a Chatot. I would, but I wouldn't. Uh, probably because I, 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 yeah, Chatot is not one of my favorite Pokemon. Probably not a good strategic Pokemon, and well, if you talk to this person, Gardena, our gym leader goes on to the Eternal Force every so often. I always wonder where she, what she does there. Hmm. Train Pokemon, battle. It could be, it could be one or the other. I don't know. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk to this person. I've had these TMs for uh, the move recycle for such a long time now. They're not anything that I have much use for these days. I hope you put them to good use, young trainer. And here we are, get ourselves a TM67 recycle. And I believe recycle does something with like, I don't even know. Let's go ahead and uh, this is this is the reason why we have descriptions and we read them. I don't claim to know everything about Pokemon, so. TM67 is recycled. The user recycles a held item that has been used in battle so it can be used again. So it's uh, it, it's another strategic uh, move in which, like, if you guys got, like, slime, sludge ball or something like that, you can go ahead and nab it again. I don't know. Could be that. And there are some sparkling stones lying around in the Grand Underground. Yes, I've... I think I've gotten, like, two of those things. And I'm gathered a lot of stickers and I'm placing ball capsules. And I'm this close to being uh, ready for the Super Contact shows, which I don't do. I'm not doing them. And uh, badges from the uh, from gyms or wins the Super Contest shows. There's more than just one way to be a winner, it seems. Here's hoping you'll find something which you uh, can be the victor. 
which is probably going to be, you know, gym battles and stuff. Hooray, my secret base just got another, got another great, or I don't know. I, I, I couldn't tell you what, what he just meant by that. I'm sorry, guys. Anywho, uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next section of this whole place right here. And, well, let's see. We're going to go, yeah, I'm... Yeah, the, the, god dang it, these buttons are freaking, uh, ridiculous. Okay, so we got that, and there is a gym down here. Now, if you go here, you won't be able to find anything right now, I think. Yeah, you won't be able to find anything right now because it is completely empty, but later on you will be. You just gotta have to wait. Now, here we are in the gym. So, what I'm going to do right now, guys, is I'm going to actually heal up my Pokemon, stock up on a few items, and then, yeah, we'll be back here. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we're back, guys, and, well, it is finally time for us to go into, I believe, our second gym battle. Yeah, it's it has been a while. Okay, so, Gardena is waiting for us right here. He's like, at my gym, no one gets to battle with me, uh, the gym leader, me, until they've beaten all the other tra uh, trainers. I'll be waiting for you in the back. Good luck, challenger. All right, about to uh, throw hands right here. So let's go right ahead and defeat everybody. Look at that. Holy crud. We got trees. She's got enough trees here to uh, oxidize the earth and stuff. I think that's what it is. Not a big uh, science nut. So the Eterna City Gym, mainly, uh, or mainly grass type Pokemon. So the two Pokemon, and maybe three Pokemon that we have, maybe four, uh, you know, fire, uh, fire and flying Pokemon are good. Some of these grass type Pokemon in here are going to have some po poison type capabilities, so just keep an eye out for that. And if you do have a psychic type Pokemon, by all means, destroy. Okay, so uh, let's see, go down one, and there is nobody here. Holy buckets, okay. So where are, or where, oh, where are these trainers? They're like nowhere, nowhere to be found, or we have to like, yeah, okay, so let's see. Going here, that's where Gardena is supposed to be. Okay, so where am I supposed to go? Let's see. Huh. All right, that's the top of that. Oh, there's a trainer right there, I think. Yeah, she's here. Okay, so I guess they're all hiding somewhere. Talk to this person, and how did you, uh, how did you know where to find me? Let's have our battle. Okay, let's have our battle. So here we go, taking on Last Caroline, and she is going to be coming out with her Cherubi. All right, Cherubi, how's it going? And here we have Monfernomon, ready to throw some hands. All right, Flame Wheel for the win. All right, time to pop these guys as cherries. There we go, bam. And Cherubi, defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, okay, so that's more experience points for all of us. And here comes Roselia. Now, keep an eye out for Roselia. It is also a Poison-type Pokemon. A very interesting Pokemon to have on your team if you guys ever want it. I think it's become much more popular now because of its evolutionary line and all that crud. But look at that. We have defeated Roselia. Yeah. And Mew de Uno grows to level 19. And the world is now at peace. There is peace in this world. Yes. Okay. And, okay, so the next trainer is at the end past two boulders, I think. So, yeah, we have to we have to locate these trainers. They just appear out of randomness. And there's two boulders somewhere around here. Not there, at the end of two boulders. And if only this control can stop being such a lame, a lame, you know what. And, well, let's see. There's nothing right here. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we have to go back. Jeebus, okay. Come on. That's why we run into this place. I, I like the other design better just because. So here are the two boulders. And here is the trainer. My grass type Pokemon can dole out some serious special attacks. I won't let you win easily. Okay. Here we go. Uh, Alright. Aroma Lady Jenny from the block. Ready to battle us. And she will be coming out with Badoo. And here is Monfernamon, ready to just throw some hands. Let's go with a flame wheel. I'm about to cough right here. <coughs> yeah, coughing right here. Holy buckets, okay. And, oh, wow. Yeah, I forgot about the poison point. That will, uh, that will mess us up just a little bit. Just, you know, just a little bit right there. And, well, there we go. We're also getting poisoned. 
And that took a lot. So, uh, let's see. She is coming out with a Badoo. Let's give Starblade a little love right here. Starblade. All right. Okay, Starblade. Time to finish these Pokemon trainers off. And, well, Starblade's looking pretty mean. Fantastic. It's a curl at the top. It's extra curly. So, that means it's ready to go. Here comes an Intimidate. And... Well, here comes a wing attack. Hopefully we don't get poisoned. It is a physical attack. And there we go. We have won. Fatality. And, well, she's coming out with a Badoo again. So let's go continue with Starblade. All right, Starblade. Time to go with a wing attack. And just like that, Badoo defeated. Okay, alrighty. And, well... Roman, Roman Lady Jenna is not so happy. So she's going to be giving us her next clue. See where this is going to be at. And she's like, oh, that's right. A hint about the next trainer. In the middle of three trees, that's for, that's it for my hints. Good luck. Yeah. These women are not helping us out. So uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and use antidotes. Obviously, I have stocked up to make sure my Pokemon are nice and, you know, equipped and whatnot. And, well, down the middle... We've already been right here. So let's see where exactly could this Pokemon trainer be. I think we already be defeated her. So we're down the middle. And there she is. Okay, so we have to go elsewhere. Hmm. Yeah, that could be confusing right there, guys. And bam. Even when you, can, uh, you, you try to conceal it, you can't hide the aromas of the flowers. It's all about flowers. Don't know why. Okay, so here we are, Aroma Lady Angela wanting to battle us, and she is coming out with our Turtwig. Holy crud. Turtwig looking all happy and stuff. Here we go, Monfernomon ready to go. And, uh, well, let's see. Oh, yeah, that's just my... It's just, uh, what was it? My, my watch telling me to stand up, which I will. So here we go. Flame Wheel for the win. <laughs> oh, God. This cough is coming. It's coming. And look at that, Electro Star grows to level 21. And Angela, just not happy. She is not happy whatsoever. Okay. So, your next, opposing, your next opponent is beside the four flowers. And there she is at the very top. So, yeah, we're going to go all the way up here. And four flowers. Look at that. Okay, so come here. And there she is. You know what? Time to unleash the beast. And the beast, I mean, Ultra Psycho. Okay? I'm not going to use Mew Uno just yet. Okay, talk to her. <laughs> She's giggling. You found me. Of course I'll battle you. Good for you. Alrighty, so here we are taking on Beauty Lindsay. And, uh, yeah, look at this. She is coming out with her Roselia. And, well, Roselia is a poison-type Pokemon, so I think it... It should work out in our favor since, you know, we learned Psycho Cut. Oh, Psycho Cut. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Look at that. And uh, Hydra is just two more levels away from evolving. And Ultra Psycho picking up the slack, doing its business. And, yeah, she is not happy. Only one Pokemon. You could have just, like, came out with, like, six of them or something. I'm just saying. And there's only our gym leader. Go on and don't be afraid. Maybe I won't be afraid. Maybe she's going to catch these hands too. My Pokemon's hands, by the way. Okay, so we got one more trainer, and that is the gym leader herself. So, let's see. Let's go straight for Monfernomon. I have a feeling that she might be some doing something weird. Talk to her. And... <coughs> coughing again you kept me waiting i'm eternal gym leader or eternal G yeah i'm eternal gym leader gardena the grass type master when i first saw you i was convinced you'd uh, you'd find your way to me my hunch was right about you uh, right or right on the money you have the winning aura about you so anyway this will be fun let's have our battle Alrighty, here we go it is time Gym battle number two, Gardena. Mm, 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 mm. And, yes, yeah, she will be having three Pokemon. First one, Cherubi. As many of you guys already know, we popped that cherry, so we're going to pop it yet again. Let's get it, Monferno Mon. Time to 
Flame wheel attack, yes, for the win. Okay, flame wheel. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, that was brutal. Grass-type Pokemon, yeah. <laughs> yeah, not not the very best. And, well, two Pokemon grow levels yet again. And here comes a Turtwig. Now, Turtwig does not have the ground-type capabilities just yet. So, Flame Wheel is right there. Oh, yeah. We're, you know what? We're probably going to sweep this team with Flame Wheels. Yes! Now, if you've, you've chosen a different Pokemon, different starter Pokemon, and don't have a Fire-type... Yeah, go with the grass type, psychic type, especially against a Rosade, Roserade, and she's like, the end is not yet. And here she is, coming out with Roserade. This Pokemon right here is powerful. It's powerful, fast, and it loves to do this stun sport. That's how they get you. And, uh, well, we are paralyzed. Yeah, we, we, we were a little too cocky for our own good, and here comes Grass Knot. For those who don't know, Grass Knot depends on the weight of the Pokemon. And here comes Flame Wheel. Time to eat it. And just like that, a clean sweep. Suck it, Rose Raid. Suck it. And, well, BAM! More Pokemon growing levels. Mew de Uno grows to level 20. And Ultra Psycho as well. And, well, we got a Baton Pass out of it. And she's like, Amazing! You're very good, aren't you? I just love the way how she celebrates for me. That's pretty awesome. I might have been, I might have said it before, but you're really tough. Wasn't it hard for you to raise your Pokemon to be so good? I guess that's the measure of how much you love your Pokemon. In recognition for that, I proudly grant you this, and she will be giving us a uh, a Forest Badge. Now I, I will have to shine up the other badge because, well, I can't touch it right here because I got this. So, with the Forest Badge, you, you, the Hidden Move Cut will be available for the Pokédex. Now that you have two gym, gym badges, all Pokémon you receive in trades will obey you up to level 30. I got a Pokémon in mind for that. I've also got something else for you. These are the gifts from me. And here we get ourselves some stickers from Gardena. That's pretty awesome right there, guys. And some TM86s. I believe it's Grass Knot. And like I said before, it all depends on the Pokémon's weight. Yes. Heavier opposing Pokémon, the more damage it will cause. And, yep, if there was one thing I could tell you, it's this. You and your Pokemon are gonna get even tougher. And I mean seriously. Okay. Alrighty. So, we're going to conclude our episode with this because I got a small announcement. Just a tiny announcement. If only I could fit through this door, god dang it. <sighs> the rage. Okay, so we're gonna finish off the episode right here. And uh, there is a good reason behind that, okay? So, early on into this walkthrough, I didn't want to go into the Pokemon Center. Alright, you know what? Let me cough a little. <coughs> okay, I'm back. Anywho, early on into this walkthrough right here, I did say that we... That it, this was going to be a once a week episode, or once a you know once once a week episode kind of thing because you know my limited time. Um, as of right now, with the remaining part of the year, I'm currently recording this at, on on uh, December 10th. I'm here to announce, and you guys probably already seen it on my community page, that Pokemon Brilliant Diamond will be coming out three times this uh, over the week. I am thinking of doing a Sunday episode, a Wednesday episode, and then a Friday episode. That way you guys can have some fun with that. Reason being is because we are finishing up Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. There are maybe two or three episodes that I'm going to do, or two or three final episodes that I need to do with, with Alpha Sapphire. The rest is going to be re-recorded -record, re from Pokemon Omega Ruby. And then from there, we're going to be done, another walkthrough completed, and we're going to continue on right here. Now, there are other things, too. Um, I know that I've mentioned something about Pokemon White, too, and all that stuff, how I'm going to complete it over Thanksgiving. Obviously, we passed that by. Um, so, I am currently in the works. Any major walkthroughs that I am, I, I am thinking of right now, such as White 2 or Pokemon Y, they are currently in the works, and they will be featured, or better yet, they will start being featured on the very first day of 2024. So, we got we got we got a lot of episodes to cover, guys. So, in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoy this episode, like this episode, 
the episodes that come out three times a week now. And uh, let's see, what else? Oh yeah, and the remaining episodes of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. So thank you guys again. And uh, well, let's see. Oh yeah, I just realized something too. Yeah, hat games. I will stop. I will start featuring hat games at the start of 2024 as well. Why is that? Because, well, I'm having a little bit of fun doing Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. I'm getting good views. Many of you guys like them. I'm going to taper off from making more videos on other walkthroughs or uploading them right here at the end of the uh, at the end of this month right here because we want to start off 24 2024 with a with a very good, you know, you know, round of episodes. I can't really speak right now, guys. I just I'm excited. Very, very excited. So, like I said, Start of 2024, Pokemon Y is coming out. We are going to complete Pokemon White 2. And uh, a hat game is going to be a once a week episode. So in the meantime, enjoy these three episodes that are going to be coming out for the remainder of this week right here. So thank you guys again. I'll see you guys next time.